may not be possible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. How many of you believe? Now, shout another seven possibility. Hallelujah to the Lord. Shall we go in the name of Jesus? this place and I saw just three men with the anointed choir giving out you no know, heavenly orchestrated music ministration. I, I, I went to the high heavens and I told Pastor Tutu, I said ah, it's amazing seeing eh? three of them and this guy sent me to cloud 10 back the choir leader now, again, Timanika, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am not here for Oxford English or grammar, not for prayer. Shout, seven Lord, hallelujah! Thank you, sir. I love you, hallelujah. Shall we lift our hands up to the Lord? I sing. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Oh, glory, oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord, of oh, glory, of glory, glory to the Lord, of oh, glory, of oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord, hallelujah, Hosanna, 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 blessed be the name of oh, the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Let us praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Let us praise Him from everlasting, everlasting to everlasting. Our God is able. Our God is able. This man is going to be my assistant pastor. I just love the way he is reacting. See, it depends on you. Over 100. How much do you know about the God who is able? You will demonstrate it. You will leave your degrees behind. Leave your positions behind. You will turn loose in prayers. You will do as if you've never attended any school. You will say, God, if you are looking for one person in this conference that will receive a mighty testimony, it is me. Everyone who is going to connect with the Holy Spirit these five days, I pray between now and the close of the year, you will testify. Amen. You will testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at three people around you. Tell them, our God is able.
Pastor Kola and Pastor Tudu, congratulations. I just love these people. You will now look at seven people. You tell them, the God of all possibilities will visit you in the name of Jesus. You are number two. The God of all possibilities will visit you. The God of all possibilities will visit you. The God of all possibilities will visit you. Don't forget the keyboard. This are the drama here. April 2023 is unique because my being here is by divine appointment. Yes, sir. So you are going to look at three people now. We we'll pick number one. Huh? Who is number one? Tell that person. Tell that person. Every possibility in your life. Every possibility in your life shall be made possible. Shall be made possible by the God who is able. By the God who is able. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say Amen. Amen. So all through you'll be ministering with me. Choir master, pick two of your people. It makes it possible. It makes it possible. possible. Amen. You see, we are going to do it. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. These people won't let me go. We are going to do it in military fashion. You remember Matthew 11, 12? Right from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God, sovereigns, but listen, okay. only divinely Christians shall take it back first. Are you ready now? Thinking about it makes it possible. 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 It possible. It possible. It possible. It possible. Amen. Look at that person. As I'm teaching, as I'm preaching, we are praying. Are you here? Yes, sir. Now say, my sister. My brother. Okay. If your voice is louder, you take the greater miracle. Say, my brother. My brother. From the God who is able. From the God who is able. Between now. Between now. And the close of the year. And, and the, the close, close of the year. For you and your family members. For you and your family members. Your heavens of possibilities. Your heavens of possibilities. Shall open. Shall open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say big amen. Amen. Pick another partner. Tell that person. Say my brother. My brother. My sister. My brother. Today is your day. Today is your day. Between now. Between now. And the close of the year. And the close of the year. All your manifestations. All your manifestations shall come to pass. Shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. 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 Pick another person. My brother. Say my sister. My brother. I believe the word of God. I believe the word of God. In Acts 10 38. In Acts 10 38. How God. How God. Anointed, anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with Holy Ghost, with Holy Ghost, and with power, and with power, who went about, who went about, doing good, doing good, healing them, healing them. They were oppressed, they were oppressed of the devil, of the devil. For God was with him. For God was with him. Now say, anointed for testimonies, anointed for testimonies. Ah, well, you didn't shout very well. Anointing for testimonies. Anointing for testimonies. I command you to fall. I command you to fall. Upon you and your family. Upon you and your family. So I prophesy. So I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for testimonies. Anointing for testimonies. Four. 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 In the name of Jesus. Four. In the name of Jesus. Four. In the name of Jesus. Four. 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 Another partner, John 2 11. Say it very well. John 2 11. Let me tell you, you know, I know what my brother stands for the word and prayer. So we are using the weapon of the word to 
now ask the God of God who is able to do the unusual. Say John 2 11. John 2 11. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of the works of the works that Jesus did. That Jesus did in Cana of Galilee. In Cana of Galilee. And he manifested forth his glory. And he manifested forth his glory. Then his disciples believed on him. Then his disciples believed on him. Say you will manifest glory. You will manifest glory. Your family members will manifest glory. Your family members will manifest glory. Say I prophesy. I prophesy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anointing for manifestation. Anointing for manifestation. Shall fall upon you. Shall fall upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say big amen. Amen. Everybody look at me here. We are going somewhere. The disciples were following Jesus. You knew this man provided everything. But a time came when he turned water to wine. The Bible says that he manifested forth glory. It was when he manifested forth glory that the disciples believed. No matter what you are explaining, people, people are tired of your explanation. They are waiting for your manifestation. So when I ask you to command anointing for manifestation to fall, you will, you will command it, you will pray with, with understanding. If Jesus manifested glory, you will manifest glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to say to several different people, say if Jesus manifested glory, if Jesus manifested glory, you will manifest glory. You will manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus manifested glory, Jesus manifested glory, you will manifest glory. You will manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus manifested glory, Jesus manifested glory. You will manifest glory. You will manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus manifested glory, Jesus manifested glory. You will manifest glory. Manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus manifested glory, Jesus manifested glory. You will manifest glory. You will manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus manifested glory. Glory. Jesus manifest glory. You manifest glory. Manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If Jesus manifests glory. Jesus manifests glory. You manifest glory. Manifest glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Look at me here. Of all the people you prophesied to, who is that person that is smiling to you? Engage that person. Say, my sister, come. Then you will say. I we manifest. I we manifest. I we manifest. I we manifest. No power can stop me. I we manifest. Hey, no power can stop me. I we manifest. Amen. Amen. See. Amen. Oishé. In the house of prayer, you dance only goes as own to. Yes. Huh? Are you ready? Take a partner. I will manifest. I will manifest. I will manifest. I will manifest. No power can stop me. I will manifest. No power can stop me. I will manifest. You will manifest. You will manifest. You will manifest. You will manifest. No power can stop you. I will manifest. No power can stop you. I will manifest. You will manifest. Psalm 57 verse 8 Something is happening sir And I pray that by the grace of God God will bring me to come and do Three days revival for you Amen. Psalm 57 verse 8 Amen. See See you can't be giving excuses again. The honest expectation of creation. Waiting for your manifestation. Now we are going to read this the loudest. You will shout loud and clear. One to go. One. Oh yeah, shall we read now? One to go. Awake, my glory. Awake. Sultry and half. I myself will awaken early. If one does not sleep, yes. can they ask you to wake up? No. Meaning that someone's glory can sleep. Yes. The psalmist said, my glory, I can't go to next year like this. No. Next year cannot be like that year. My glory in the area of fintech. My glory in the area of commerce. My glory in the area of businesses. My glory in the area of establishment. Awake, 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 awake. Use awake. amen. You see the way I'm praying? Yes. Eh? You see the way I'm praying? Forget about British English. 
forget about American English. Pray like a rugged person. Come and see what we do. Say, my glory! My glory! The glory of every member of my family. The glory of every member of my Say, family. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Away! 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 That man there, thank you for that leading. And that guy, thank you for that scripture you brought out in Proverbs 11 24. Now, listen, tonight is a night of mercy. We need to cry like blind Bartimaeus. Are we not praying from the Bible? Yes, sir. Don't you believe what is happening? Yes, sir. Now, you will now tell your neighbor, Isaiah 61 and 2. Tell your neighbor now. Isaiah 61 and 2. Are you afraid to say ye? Isaiah 61 and 2. Then you will do a shouting prayer. Say, Arise. Arise. And shine. And shine. For your light has come. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord. Has risen upon you. Has risen upon you. Say no matter what is happening. No matter what is happening. All over the world. All over the world. The Lord will arise. The Lord will arise. And shine upon you. And shine upon you. And his glory. And his glory. Shall be seen upon shall you. Shall be seen upon you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say big amen. 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 Say big amen. 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 Again you will pick a partner. You will tell that partner. If that partner is not smiling. Permit you to come here. Say are we are a sunshine. I will arise and shine. I will arise and shine. I will arise and shine. No, you will say, I will arise and shine. No power can stop me. I will arise and shine. Things will be happening. They will know that God is able to confess something is happening. Are you ready? Eh? Then the second time, you say, You will arise and shine. No. You will have a sunshine. I will have a sunshine. No power can stop you. I will have a sunshine. No power can stop you. I will have a sunshine. Amen. You are doing well. God. Promise God you are going to dance 95%. Yes. You will smile 95%. Yes, sir. You will you will check your body 95%. Are yes, you sir. ready now? I will have a sunshine. I will have a sunshine. Resurrection by the power of resurrection, the power that rolled away the tombstone, the power that rolled away the tombstone. This prayer is going to clear your road on the highway of success. You will see things happening. You will say very well. Say by the power of resurrection, by the power of resurrection, the power that rolled away the tombstone, the power that rolled away the tombstone. I prophesy. I prophesy to your destiny. To, to your, your destiny, destiny, to your glory, to, to your, your glory, glory, to your family, to, to your, your family. family. Right from now, right from now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as we are clapping together, as, as we are clapping together, together, arise, shine, 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 Yeah.
Stretch your hands toward this altar. Numbers 23 19 says, Number 23 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie. Yes, <laughs> Neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, will he not do it? Has he spoken, will he not make it good? I join my faith with God's chosen servant and the handling of God to decree upon everyone connected to house of resurrection altar beginning from now you will manifest amen in the name of jesus amen, amen. all the promises of god in your life shall come to pass amen 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 every embargo of or on your manifestation is hereby lifted. Amen. You didn't say amen very well. Amen. That embargo is lifted. Amen. It's 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 lifted. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord is showing me two youths in this church. You are in a wrong circle of friendship. First Corinthians 15 33. Put it on the screen. The Lord is saying, the two of you, if only you can disengage from those people, you be, because God will make you a global figure, every one of you. Be not deceived. Evil associations corrupt good manners. As a matter of fact, one of you, you could have gotten scholarship outside the UK, but for the friends you are keeping, you are distracted. If you can obey today, you will see what God will do. Now, I pray in the name of Jesus, any limitation of your manifestation, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it be removed now. 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 Amen. The Lord is showing me a vision. I say 25 by 7. Everybody look at me here. Do you know in the Bible, in Matthew 5, said, you are a city set on the hill that cannot be hidden. You are the salt of the earth. Now, if the salt loses its symbol, it will be trodden under man's foot. Ah, said, you are the light of the world. You don't light the candle and put it under the bushel, but you put it on the mountain top so that it can light your environment. That is when you make it, you go to your villages infested with witchcraft. You build free nursing school, primary school, hospital for them. You said, go there. Witches, with they, they want to serve your God. That is when you are lighting your environment. That means nothing must cover your destiny. See that Isaiah 25 verse 7. The Lord is saying that so many people coming for this meeting, something is covering your manifestation. The Lord wants to remove it. Now, can we read it the loudest? One to go. And it will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all, all nations. Come, young girl. Come, young girl. God is going to you. Stay here. Camera focus on her. Everyone, can you see this lady? Do you like this? Uh, this is not double drawn. Uh, I don't know what they call it. Uh, not amingo, not double drawn, no bone straight. Okay, you like this? Uh, do you like her? Yes. You can see her very pretty, yes. knowledgeable, anointed. Can you see the beauty? No, sir. But Jesus said, it is finished. Amen. The veil of the temple got ready to truth. Hallelujah. So, the manifestation, nobody can see because that's a cover. Yes. Some in form of cobweb or anything, maybe from polygamous background. Yes. No. So, now you now say, anything covering my manifestation in the name of Jesus, bomb by fire, bomb by fire. Amen. Now she's going to pray it with anger. You will see what will happen. Say after me, my daughter, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give her the microphone. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I don't know how to speak British English. Say enough is enough. Enough is enough. I will manifest. I will manifest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any cover. Any cover. On my manifestation. On my manifestation. I set you on Holy Ghost fire. I set you on Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come by fire. Come by fire. Come by fire. Come by fire. 
bomb by fire, bomb by fire. Hey, bomb by fire. Hey. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So she's manifesting now because the cover has been stand very well. Thank you, thank you. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I answer that, that. Holy Ghost. I need a change by fire. I need a change by fire. Come, my friend. Come, come. come. Holy Ghost, I need a change by fire. Holy Ghost, I need a change by fire. Oh. Holy Ghost, I need a change by fire. 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 By fire, by fire, by fire. You are, you are fast. Let's clap for him. Oh yeah, pick another partner now. Oh yeah. Pastor and the wife should just remain permanently here. Are you ready now? Now you will clap louder than your neighbor. We are going somewhere. We want to command anything covering your manifestation, your progress, to bomb by fire. Come and see what will happen. This is a praying God is able conference. That's why God has brought me here. Oh yeah, in the name of Jesus. Don't, don't make it in a civilian fashion. We are warriors of righteousness. Are you ready? Holy Ghost, I need a chain by fire. 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 By fire, 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 by fire. By fire. Amen. 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 Point to your neighbor. Say enough is enough. Enough, enough is, is enough. enough. Don't worry, don't worry. Enough is enough. Enough, enough is enough. You must manifest. You must manifest. You must manifest. Say you must manifest. You must manifest. You must progress. You must progress. Yes. Any cover. Any cover. On your manifestation. On your manifestation. Jesus said. Jesus said. It is finished. It is finished. Develop the temple. Develop the temple. Turn it to two. Turn it to two. So I command. So I command. That veil. That veil. That cover. That cover. On your progress. On your. Progress. On your manifestation. On your manifestation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As we are clapping together. As we are clapping together. You that Cover. You that cover. Bomb by fire. 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 Bomb by Unto the online church and the on-site church, connecting with us on this God is able conference 2023. That beginning from now, the Bible says in Psalm 37, verse 5, Psalm 37, verse 5, that you are going to bring it to pass. That Lord is saying he's going to bring it to pass. Amen. He's going to bring it to pass. Amen. So all he said, commit your ways unto the Lord and trust him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring, bring it, it to pass. Are you ready to say amen to him? Amen. So I make a decree. So that you will have testimonies to show people by January. Every promise of God that I will bring it to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your testimonies, your manifestations for this year shall not be postponed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I command the doors of manifestations, the gates of manifestations to open for that family with the loudest woman. Amen. Let them open. 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 Let them then the thing came. The prince of Persia was arrested. Yes. If there are manifestations that had been hijacked by the prince of your environment, 
Now, with a very loud amen, let them be released by fire. Amen. Now, everyone saying amen, your manifestations shall not be diverted. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall not be hindered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall not be manipulated. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall not be attacked. Amen. Shall not be aborted. Amen. Shall not be opposed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God, by the favor of God, by the mercy of God, between now and the last sunset this year, I don't know who is going to say amen. You and your family, you will manifest. Amen. In the name of, I said you will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will manifest. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You that person. You are in a place. We are those people you are more qualified than. They are the one managing you. It seems as if you are living a, a substandard life. And then they hate you for nothing. You are more educated. You know the job. When it comes to giving tax, they give you tax. But when it comes to giving you reward, they don't give you. Now everyone, every proclamation of vision that comes, I want a very loud amen. Now between now and the, and the first month next year, by the power of res resurrection, now be elevated. Amen! Oh my God! Be elevated in the name of Jesus. Be elevated. 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 In the name of Jesus. By the same power of resurrection, that's the name of this ministry. Yes. The Lord is saying He wants to lift some families up. Those people who are watching online tomorrow, you must be here. Next tomorrow, you must be here. On Saturday, you must be here. On Sunday, you must be here. God says the Lord, Psalm 3 verse 3. Psalm 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is your glory, is your shield, and the lifter up of your head. Anything that has to do with the head has to do with destiny. Anything that has to do with the head has to do with glory. Everyone, you know you are standing for nations of the world. I want a very loud amen to this world. In the name of Jesus, today, on this altar, as I lay my hands on this altar, let your head be lifted. Amen. 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 Be lifted. Amen.
when you were living in a place that you shouldn't have been they have done a negative exchange you know when those two harlots they had their children once left on her boy the boy died and then when the other one was sleeping she tried to change the babies when they went to solomon by the wisdom god has he said let's cut the dead and the life it the mother said no let the boy grow when he grows up you will know the father some people they have taken your maximum they have changed it with minimum they have taken quick manifestation. They have made it for you to be witnessing delay. Any wicked exchange they have done, especially through your dreams. Now, by the power of resurrection, now hear the word of God in Galatians 5 1. Galatians 5 1 says, Stand therefore in the liberty where with Christ has made you free. Don't be a tangle again with any yoke of bondage. I don't know who's going to say amen. Now, any wicked exchange that has been done unknown to you, let the Lord reverse. Amen. I, I in the name of Jesus, Amen. Pharaoh said, I will let you go. The only thing is you will not go very far. Now look at me here. Any negative voice saying you will go and not go far. The way you've gone abroad is the way you will come back. Who is it that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has talked? The Bible says in Psalm 29, the voice of the Lord is full of power and majesty. The voice of the Lord thundereth over the waters. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedar, even the cedar in Lebanon. But the power in the voice of the Lord, any negative voice, voice of opposition, contrary voice, negative voice, say you will not go far. Everybody, hear this. In the name of Jesus, let the voice of the Lord swallow it. Amen. Let the voice of the Lord swallow it. Amen. Those of you witnessing failure at your turning point, where at your turning point, instead of you to turn for positive, it's negative. That a strange dream will come. Job 7, 16 and 17. They, you, they, scare, they, they, they begin to scare you with dreams. They begin to torment you through dreams. Now, every negative dream popping up at your turning point. The Bible says in Colossians 2 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that is against you, contrary to you. Jesus had taken it out of your way, laying it to the cross. And Jesus put the principalities and powers, he made an open show of them, triumphing over them in victory. Karaba, Hiliga, Bukata. Now, any negative thing happening at your turning point with a very loud amen, let the blood of Jesus cast you in. Let the blood of Jesus cast you in. 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 Set your hands over this altar as from today. In this God is able to confess 2023. I want an alarming earthquake apostolic amen. No more failure at the age of success. Amen. No more almost get the name of Jesus. Amen. In your dream, they will not snatch away your goodness. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That evil visitation in your dream. That torment in your dream. The Bible says in Psalm 7 verse 9, Psalm 7 right. verse 9, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Who is going to say this? Amen. I command that evil visitation to stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it stop. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In 1 Peter 5.10, First Peter 5 after you have gone through all those trials, you know, for a while, you know, he, 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 will, he will establish you, he will strengthen you, then he will say to you, can you raise up your two hands unto the God who is able today? That settlement that you need, that settlement that you need for every member of your family, he said, after you have suffered a while, the God who is able, God of all grace, who has called you unto his standard glory by Christ Jesus. He will make you perfect establish and say to you. Why is it that that child who should marry is not marrying? Why is it that there is no settlement for your children? There is no settlement for your husband. Your husband is gone, has gone into depression you know, several times. Now I command in that area that you need settlement, house of restoration. In the name of Jesus, receive divine settlement. Amen. I'm going to pray seven times. When you say amen, you touch your head. You receive again. Now, in the name of Jesus, receive the verse Amen. 
Receive divine settlement. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive divine settlement. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive divine settlement. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive divine settlement. In the name of Jesus. Receive divine settlement. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Amen. In Jesus' name, I have prophesied. Amen. Put your hands together for me. Can we be seated? I want to give thanks unto the Almighty God for this day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank God for bringing me here to be used of him. To him be all the glory and adoration in the name of Jesus. I bring you greetings from my wife, Pastor Bukola Oladinu, and climates all over the world. She said I should greet you. And she wishes you well. Could you please help me celebrate Pastor Kola Akibi and Pastor Florence Tutu Akibi. Thank you, ma. Thank you, sir. This is the arrangement of God. You know, in 2018, we couldn't make it. But this is the appointed time. He makes all things beautiful in his own time. I'm so excited to be here. And I want to thank this congregation. You are doing very well. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. I say may the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord keep you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I am here with one of my personal assistants. Uh, he's my personal assistant on administration, Pastor Niyi Abbas. Happy celebrating. We thank God. I can't go on without celebrating my sister, Mrs. Wumi Adimefun. Um, uh, we are from the same place. That place that God has taken over. One, if you are looking for a town that God has revived by his power, check out our town in Ondo State. My sister, I celebrate God in your life. And all the Lelugi people here, you are blessed in Jesus' name. That person, you won't fail that exam again. Amen. That's what I'm hearing. You won't. Keyboardists, you have to be there. Tell the keyboardists, you'll be there throughout. Keyboardists, be there. You won't fail that exam again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. When I saw the topic, I was so excited. Mercy, your advantage. Hmm. Let, me, let me tell you something before we go on. If you look at Saul and David, who committed more sins? Answer now. David. Uh -uh. David. Yeah. Eh. Who enjoyed more mercy? David. Have you, have you asked yourself Why? Let me show you something so that you will understand why we are going tonight. I won't waste your time at all. You will see what God is going to do. God is going to show you mercy. Amen. Can I hear a big amen? Amen. God will show you mercy. Amen. Say, oh Lord, show me mercy. Oh Lord, show me mercy. Say, Lord, if you are looking for someone to show mercy. Lord, if you are Say, if you are looking for someone to show mercy. If you are looking for someone to show mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. In the name of In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, amen. Amen. Mercy is an advantage for you. I saw something in Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 15. I'm coming. We are going to stream now. It says, but by my mercy, it says, but my mercy shall not depart from him, David, as I took it from Saul. God took away his mercy from Saul. But he's saying his mercy will not depart from David, whom I put away from before me. And David committed more atrocities. But each time he committed any atrocity, he was so humble. Creating me at me heart, oh Lord. And renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, oh Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. And renew right spirit within me. But when Saul was accused of offering that sacrifice, he was so arrogant. So if you want to enjoy mercy, you must display humility. Note it before I go. You come before God. Don't resent discipline when the pastor is disciplining you. That is when you can receive mercy. When you are being corrected. Forget about the people sharing you that what you have done is right. Take that correction. That is when you can enjoy mercy. Don't behave like Saul. 
behave like David. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the mercy of God? The mercy of God is the kindness of God, the compassion of God. When we are talking of mercy, we are talking of compassion. You can begin to stream now. We are talking of the mercy of God. We are talking of the favor of God. We are talking of clemency of God, the benevolent nature of God. You know, God can pity you. It's in the Bible. Say, I will pity you. That is showing you mercy. We are talking of the tenderness of God. If someone does anything wrong to you, and it's within your power to deal with that person, and when you deal with that person, you are justified. But you choose not to deal with that person. You show that person mercy. That's what mercy stands for. Somebody shout hallelujah. So mercy prevents you from having the punishment you deserve. You deserve the punishment. But mercy will say, no, I know. She has messed up. He has messed up. But he will be forgiven. That is someone who should say a big amen tonight. Receive that mercy in the name of Jesus. You didn't say amen very well. I say receive the mercy in the name of Jesus. Receive the mercy in the name of Jesus. Take note of the following things. Number one, God is the custodian of mercy. If any human being shows you any mercy, it's God who uses that person. No human being can show you mercy. Romans 9, 14 to 18. What shall we say? Is there any unrighteousness with God? You should be streaming now. God forbid. For he said to Moses that we have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And we have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So it is not of him that will not of him that run it, but the Lord has showed mercy. For the scripture said to Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, I have raised him up that I may show my power in you, that my name may be declared throughout the world. Therefore, has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and he will, he will harden, he will harden. If God is looking for someone in your family, who should enjoy unusual mercy, is the person who will say the loudest amen that we that we'll get it to that law will now dot on you as he led you for that mercy in the name of Jesus. Do you know that without mercy we can't do anything in life? Without mercy, we can't do anything in life. If it is by academic prowess, the professors will be rich. If it is by hard work, those doing hard labor will be rich. It's not so. I have seen many people who could not do things. And they behave like Moses. That I may stammer, I don't know how to talk. The Lord said, I know. I know that I need someone who is eloquent. But I want to use someone who is not eloquent. It's by mercy. Say, Aaron will be your mouth. You see somebody that had been written off. The Lord raises that person up by mercy. The person who will jump up and know and say that mercy is to my own advantage. Now, let the Lord show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. Number two. You can have B.S.C. Oxford, mastered in Cambridge, and PhD in another. But if you don't obtain mercy, nothing will work. Very many people they have red passport, they don't have mercy. Many people they travel, they have visa, but they, they've not obtained mercy. You can have red passport and blue passports, and nothing will work. And someone who does not have any mercy will just raise that person. May mercy raise you up in the name of Jesus. Number two. You can be revived and restored by the mercy of God. Please pay attention to Hosea 39. Very, very important. All throughout this convention. Say, oh Israel, you have destroyed yourself. You have messed up big time. Big time. But it means it's your help. When you see help, you are seeing mercy. When you see mercy, you are seeing favor. When you see favor, you are seeing grace. So the Lord is saying, no, if you have messed up big time, mercy can bring you back. I want to profess to one person who is going to say the loudest amen. You jump up and say the amen. In any way you have goofed, you have messed up, or your spouse has messed up, or any of your children has messed up. Now, let mercy restore. Amen. Let mercy restore. Amen. Let mercy restore. Amen. Let mercy restore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The mercy of God will revive you. Amen. Will restore you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Will restore back your hope. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The mercy of God will write your history. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say louder. Amen. Amen. Number three. I'm going somewhere quickly. You can be preserved and secured by the mercy of God. I hope you know that. Psalm 57, 1 to 3. Psalm 57, 1 to 3. Be merciful unto me, 
O oh God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, in the shadow of your wings will I make my refuge unto these calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God most high, unto the God that performeth all things. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that will have swallowed me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. I pray in any dangerous situation that you are in. In any situation that is that is full of calamity that any of your family member may be. With a ruining amen, let the mercy of God bail you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want someone concerned with this to jump up and say amen. If you are in any tight corner, you don't even know what to do again. Having done all, nothing is working. Anyone in any tight situation, any tight corner, with a very loud amen, let the mercy of God bail you out. Amen. Bail you out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, I am coming out. I am coming out. By the mercy of God. By the mercy of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Amen. Amen. Number four, a cry for mercy, for God's mercy, at the crossroad yields miracles. I love Psalm 107, 23 to 30. Permit me to quickly read. They that go down in ship to do business in great waters. They see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commands and raises a stormy wind. You are, that's your situation. I am painting your situation now. Which lifts up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven. They go down again to the depths. Their soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro. They stagger like a drunken man. And they are at their wit's end. You are at your wit's end. You are at your wit's end. They cry unto the Lord in their trouble. He brings them out of their distresses. He makes the, the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. Then they are glad because they be quiet. He brings them to their desired heaven. It is by the mercy of God. If you are in a stormy situation, all you need to do now is to, is to keep to the mercy of God that is your advantage and say amen. If you are in a stormy situation, any member of your family is in any stormy situation with a very ruin in amen, let the, amen, let the mercy of God bail you out. Amen. Bail you out. Amen. Bail you out. Amen. If you are in a, in a situation that is depressing and you are passing through depression, <laughs> it seems as if you are down. You are confused. You don't know what to do. Your mental wellness is affected. Your emotional wellness is affected. Your physical wellness is affected. Your manhood, your womanhood is being abused. Such people, if you can shout the loudest amen, let the mercy of God speak for you. Amen. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Amen. Let the mercy of God speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The following people, as I begin to mention these critical points, your amen must be an outstanding one. If you are at a critical point, you are saying, why me, O oh Lord? Let the mercy of God speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are that person said, I can't go further. Lord, prove yourself that you are there for me. Because you are in your marriage, you are lonely. You are married, you are lonely. At work, you are lonely. It's not when you are not married alone that you are lonely. You can be in marriage and be lonely. You are saying, oh Lord, do something now so that your name will not be reproached. Such a people, let the mercy of God speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The mercy of God will speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The mercy of God will speak for Amen. you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you that person Say, oh Lord, which way out? Make way fast. Are you saying, Lord, can my dry bones live again? Age is weighing on me, Lord. What is happening? You are singing to the Lord. Do it, Lord. All that I'm asking. <laughs> All that I'm asking from you, oh Lord. 
Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. All that I'm asking. All that I'm asking, Baba, don't put me to shame. To shame. Onti mo bere. Onti mo bere. Lord, on the Oluwa. Te te shame. Onti mo bere. Onti mo bere. Baba, kodu mati me. Such people, I just want you to say, big amen. You want God to do something urgent. You want God to do something fast. In the name of Jesus, receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the Receive the mercy of God. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sir, the Lord wants to tell you that your dry bones can rise again. Amen. See, don't let your age cage you. You can start. The founder of KFC, Colonel Halinda Sander, when he retired, it was in his garden. The Holy Spirit said, You have not manifested the purpose of you being born. Though you have retired. Say, pick your meager money. There is economic downturn in America. Go and buy chicken and bread and sell by the roadside. Do you know when mercy wants to bail you out? The Lord will just witness a word to you. You just hear a word. Proverbs 20, 12. The hearing ear and the seeing eye. God has made them. Proverbs 20, 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way. Psalm 25 verse 7 Who is that man that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Where I am today is by the mercy of God, grace of hearing God. Do this and I do it. The man obeyed. When he saw the bread, he, first, he said, am I mad? Am I not mad? The Lord said, I'm the one telling you. It's mercy that wants to speak upon you transgenerationally. Now by the time he spent about three months there, they started asking for the franchise. They want to buy it. He said he has not registered it. He registered it and he started KFC formally at 65. He died at 92. KFC is there till tomorrow because it was founded on the altar of God by the mercy of God. So, you can start now. Who is saying that your dry bones cannot rise again? Dry bones shall rise again. 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 Oh, Lord Jehovah, you are able to do all things. You are able, 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 able. Dry bones shall rise Touch again. Touch your sister, my dry bone will rise again. My dry bone will rise again. Now I prophesy, stretch your hands toward this altar. Those of you saying, can my dry bones rise again? One idea, all the use, you must jump up and say, man, one insight, one creativity, one platform, one opportunity that we make the whole world to hear about you. Now, let the mercy of God deliver it to you. Amen. Receive it by the mercy of God. Amen. Receive it now. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the mercy of God, do you know God, even overnight, today can give you a recipe. By the mercy of God, mess recipe. It has happened. My own first daughter, she's, the, she's one of the leading baker in Dallas City now. God gave my daughter recipe to make a peculiar agege bread in Dallas. The thing was selling like white fire. Got it in the dream through the mercy of God. Now I am here to prophesy. Now the, the, the insight that you need after the other Bezalil and Aholiab. Beyond what you have been doing, it's not. I, I, I have nothing against you starting small, but you have to move to the next level. The insight that you need, the divine insight, divine opportunity, divine recipe that you need, yes. by the mercy of God, receive them. Amen. Ah, say amen now. Receive them. Amen. Receive them. Amen. By the mercy of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive them. Amen. Receive them. Amen. Receive them. Amen. Receive them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you that person saying, Lord? You are looking at me like this. Don't watch me like that. I don't want to die. Are you saying, Lord, what must I do again? Pay tight, I pay tight. Give offering, I've given offering. Sow seed, I've sown seed. What will I do again? Are you that person? I have no more strength. I have no power of my own. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit, I look unto you. Help me. I have no. Set your heart toward this altar. Heli Gabaya Alaba. On that matter, yes. on that matter, they will say, Lord, I don't know what you are, I'm going to do. In the name of the receive the mercy of God. Amen. Ah, Pastor, I want to hear them, their amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. Someone will say, Lord, wh why are you silent? I can't hear you again. Now, receive the mercy of God. Amen. Receive the mercy of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. See another amen. amen. 
Say, I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Please be seated. Number five, quickly, quickly, quickly. My time is going. Approach the throne of grace to obtain mercy. During this, God is able 2023. You must not miss any of the programs. Hebrews 4, 14 to 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession. Profession, confession, what we know of him. For we have not an high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in no point tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in times of need. God is saying that coming to this God is able conference and mercy is, in, is to your own advantage. Don't says the Lord. I will start by pointing to this right, middle, left, and to those people watching online. Beginning from today, the gates of mercy that have never opened to anyone in your lineage. That man, get ready. I say, get ready. Your amen, let it be as if you are the only one. Remember, the Bible made it known that that man by the, by the pool of Bethesda, 38 years he has spent there, he was the only one that he was that was healed that day. You may be the only one. I don't know those people watching online. You may be the only one. You better say amen. Let new gates of mercy open to you. In the name of Jesus. The doors of mercy will open unto you. In the name of Jesus. Now do your hand like this. Say rain of mercy. Rain of mercy. Ah, you must feel it. Say rain of mercy. Rain of mercy. Follow me and my family. Follow me and my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say rain of mercy. Rain of mercy. Rain of mercy. Rain of mercy. Of mercy. Dear, of mercy. Dear of mercy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Four, 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 four. Set your hands over this altar. The wind of mercy will blow into your life. Amen. That amen was just two over ten. I want it to be nine over ten. The atmosphere of mercy will cover you. Amen. Who is going to receive the mantle of mercy? Say mantles of mercy. Mantles of mercy. God bless you, woman's daughter. That lady. God, you, that lady. See, no matter what you do, God is going to use you in the fashion world. Amen. amen. God is going to give you creativity to be able to design things in the fashion world. That's what I'm saying it written on your head. Yes. Now, do like this. Say mantles of mercy. Mantles of mercy. This is where some people will be made you. Say mantles of mercy. Ah, they didn't say it very well. Mantles of mercy. I am available with my family members. The way Elisha received the mantle. Mantle of mercy in the name of Jesus. Four, 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 four. Command it. Command the mantle of mercy. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. In Jesus, then we pray. Search your hands over this water. The key of mercy. The Lord will deliver it unto you. In Jesus' name. Say, I receive mercy. Please be seated. Quickly, number six. The mercy of God. Can fight on your behalf. Psalm 143, verse 12. Psalm 143, verse 12 says, And of your mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. When God is showing you mercies, He judges all those your adversaries. Those people who are saying, Let us see what we make, let us see what we become. Those people who are saying, that We are waiting for you. Now, let God surprise them. Let God have mercy on you to become great. They will see your greatness in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God is a mysterious weapon. That mercy will fight your enemies in the name of Jesus. Number seven. Number seven. A prayer of desperation must be preceded by the prayer of mercy. Mark 10, 46 to 49. Blind Bartimaeus. When he heard that Jesus was passing by, they said, Jesus, Jesus, son of David. Have mercy on me. He didn't say, Jesus, Jesus, the son of David, open my eyes. You don't mention that problem. Just be crying for mercy. That's what we want to do shortly. And that, they said, keep quiet. Remain the way you have been. Why did you throw that, in that garment away? We want you to remain like that. Those were opposing voices. Opposing voices that are said, stay the way you have been. Shabby, why you came? 
to this England to when Peckham remain in Cape Peckham forever instead of you buy high rise buildings all those opposing voices will take very loud amen by the mercy of God that Lord will shut them up in the name of Jesus you will go higher yeah. say I'm going higher yeah. say I'm going higher yeah. by the mercy of God yeah. now number eight that pastor quoted it God bless you that man who came to lead us Ephesians 2 4 but who is rich in mercy for his great love where which he loved us mercy of God can bring protocol for you the person who is saying that I want protocols broken for me in this land let the mercy of God break protocol for you I want to prophesy your endless struggles. Let the mercy of God stop them. Uh -uh. Wherever you may be as from today, let the mercy of God locate you. Amen. For an uncommon miracle, the mercy of God will single you out. Amen. This one is very strange. You know, if you are using 32 GB, you can upgrade it to 64 or 128. That is. So mercy of God can upgrade your destiny. I just want 10 people that will say lord by your mercy upgrade my destiny to jump up and say amen that lord will upgrade your destiny amen. by the mercy of god amen. that lord will upgrade your destiny you will upgrade your destiny promote your destiny in the name of jesus give you a complete turnaround in the name of jesus okay by the mercy of god you will sing a new song in the name of jesus number nine and then we're going to prayers please be seated condition for mercy Psalm 51, I've quoted it. David humbled himself before the Lord. Verse 17 says, The greatest sacrifice you want is a broken spirit. God, you will gladly accept that that is broken because of sadness over sin. A contrite heart. Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is nigh unto them that have broken spirit and saved such as being of contrite spirit. If you want the mercy of God, I can tell you the following. Can I tell you the following? Yes, yes, Number one, acknowledge your limitations. Don't be proud. What did you say? Thank you, sir. But what I find you. Number two, acknowledge your inadequacies. I will tell you. Say, Lord, you have to speak through me or obey no man your phone. I don't know anything. It's when you accept your inadequacies that you'll see mercy. Number three, don't come to God in arrogance. Many Christians are arrogant, that's why they don't enjoy mercy. Many pastors they begin to bring him like gangster from the pulpit. Number four. Don't come to God full of yourself if you want mercy because we are going to prayers. Number five, recognize and surrender your weaknesses before God. Don't hide your sin. Tell him you can't help yourself again. Remember Psalm 6 verse 2. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me for my bones are vexed. A woman had cancer in this London. They gave her three weeks by the grace of God <laughs> she attended one of, one of our vigils and I said when God speaks where is that doctor that will speak <laughs> I'm a scientist by the grace of God school did engineering properly by the grace of God we have a 55 world class hospital by the grace of God God has used me to donate hospitals and maternities you know, to towns and villages where science stops, God starts. The woman got home. She was rolling. Say, Lord, I've heard your word. The woman doctor has said three weeks. But I know mercy can speak. Where she was rolling on the floor, she slept off. And then an angel came. That very spot, the angel dipped his hand into that place. Removed something there every tree that my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted. said 
the axe is laid upon the root of any tree that does not bear good fruit. It shall be hewn down and cast into the fire. Matthew 15, 13, Matthew 3, 10, Psalm 18, 44 and 45. Only as soon as they hear my voice, they must obey me. They must surrender themselves to me. The stranger must fade away and they must run out of the rabbit places. So, the woman woke up. What happened? What happened? She's alive to tomorrow. Mercy healed her of cancer. Any ailment in your body by the mercy of God, receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. I'm rounding up now because we're going to come in quickly. Number eight, if you want mercy throughout these five days, don't miss any day. It's not the pounds that they will pay you that will save you. It's the mercy of God. God can ask you, begin to move. Don't worry where you are going. Mercy will speak. Everything will be provided. You know, all those people speaking rubbish on the internet. They don't understand that we are in a kingdom and we have our kingdom language. We have our trans transactional methods in the kingdom of God. They save, they are miserly in order to accumulate, but we give. To, and it will be given back to science can, cannot analyze it we sow seed, we give tight they say no, 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 those pastors are eating your time no, it's not pastors eating your time it's our trans, trans, transactional method in the kingdom that they don't know about so you don't follow them because when mercy is working there is no scientist that can analyze mercy so let that language of the kingdom provoke mercy upon you so when we are going to cry for mercy tonight just be open to god tell god you are helpless without him you have come for mercy tell him you are nothing without him tell him you will mess up without him tell him you need his mercy tell him you no longer have power of your own you rise and fall. I don't want to do it again. I'm seeing myself there. I see, you know, you are too vulnerable. Tell him all your human efforts have failed. If you want mercy, tell God you are at a point of pain. You need him. Tell him you surrender all to him. Oh, that my son, that my daughter. I surrender. They are yours, oh my Lord. I give, I leave it, I leave. I give it all to you. They are morning, they are noon, they are, they are evening. They are yours, oh my Lord. Tireni Oluwa, have you seen left one? I run one or someone, I left one, oh, Tireni Oluwa. You surrender the children. Tireni Oluwa, more see left one. Oh, run me or some, I let me, oh, Tireni. Shout hallelujah. Tell him you are tired of playing games with God. I want to be faithful. This next 12 months, I want to prove you. I will come to church. I will join a workers' group. I need your mercy. I will give. You want to provoke the mercy of God. Tell him you can't manage your situation by yourself again. Ask him for help. Tell him you are in need of his compassion. Tell him you have you have been condemned in the court of man that should save you. Tell him you don't know what to, what else to do. You have come to him to receive mercy. That your heads tonight. If you are here, you have not given your life to Jesus, or you are watching online. You need the mercy of God. There are some addresses you will see on the screen. From our CCG House of Resurrection. Test yes to those addresses. And I can assure you that you'll be properly followed and discipled. But if you are here, you don't want to play games with God. Though you come to shop, but you are not born again. This message of mercy, mercy has touched you. You want to give your life to Jesus? Could you please raise up your hand? Raise up your hand quickly, quickly, because we want to pray and go into communion. Is there any other person? Any person? Any person? Wherever you are, say after me, my father, my God. I've had your mess, a message of mercy tonight. Thank you, O Lord. I come unto you. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Today, I surrender my life unto you. 
thank you for saving my soul in jesus name make sure you get in touch with rccg house of restoration and you'll be discipled in jesus name shall we rise up on our feet now i want the following people to come to the altar here you need the mercy of god for a particular healing come before the altar come 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 you need the mercy of god for divine intervention on a matter <laughs> Come, 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 come. I know what God told me. Don't worry. By the grace of God, very soon, three days I will be with you here of all days. We will do revival. Please, the following people, if you are online, please send message to the, to the media. You notice a pattern of wicked embargo on your life and you want the mercy of God to remove the embargo come terrible limitation frustration disappointment stand still lifestyle it seems as if your life is stand still you need the mercy of God you are a victim of sweat and struggle born great but held down <laughs> you are you are bleeding you are hemorrhaging because you are you are limited if, as a matter of fact you want God to change your garment because what you are doing, you don't like it. You are tired of staying alone. You have waited for too long on a matter. <laughs> like the man by the pool of Bethesda, you need the mercy of God. You are having a sort of setback that you can't explain. Almost get there. Program losses. Are you ready now? Now you are going to cry to God. We are going to sing this, this uh, song from Psalm 89. Verse 1. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing all the mercies of the Lord, I will sing. Oh, with my mouth. Oh, yeah. Will I make no thankfulness to all of the mercies of the Lord? For and by I will sing the Lord in the oh, Blessed be the rock, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. upon the Lord I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised who is worthy to be praised so shall I be said for let's raise up the Lord in the oh Bless the be the rock, let the rock of my salvation be yes or so on the Lord oh sing it with faith sing it with faith who is wonderful who is wonderful ah who is wonderful who is wonderful Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, oh shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, oh who is wonderful, is Jesus, who is wonderful, is Jesus. You pray just two prayers, I prophesy, we close. Are you ready now? The Bible says in Isaiah 10 27, please look at me here. It shall come past to pass today. That this body shall be lifted up your shoulder, the yokes from your neck, and the yoke shall be dissolved by the anointing. Do you know what is the yoke? What is the yoke? What is the yoke? Pastor Akibi, please come, sir. Jesus said, Come unto me. I will give you rest. Uh -huh. Say, Take up my yoke. 
Do you know the meaning of that? The word yoke means joining. Can I use mommy? Yeah, this guy. Yoke. Apart from the one that the pilot uses, yoke means joining together. You know when you see two animals grazing, you want them to graze at the same level. They put something on their neck. So they will regulate and so they have been yoked together. That's the meaning of yoke. So when Jesus said, take my yoke, that means yoke with me. When you yoke with Jesus, salvation, lifting, redemption, emancipation, healing. So if you are yoked with Jesus, you will enjoy the good things of life. So yokes can be evil or can be good. So we want to deal with bad yokes. That means if you are being yoked with delay, yoked with frustration, failure, you are saying this yoke break. That's the meaning. Somebody shout hallelujah. Do we have understanding now? Do we have now? Are we ready to pray like blind Bartimaeus now? Ready to pray like Bartimaeus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Say in the name, say by the mercy of God. How many prayers were praying? Just two. Say by the mercy of God. By the mercy of God. Every yoke of delay. Every yoke of embargo. Every yoke of frustration. Every yoke of disappointment. Every yoke of standstill. Every yoke of stagnation. Every yoke of sweat and struggle. Every yoke of waiting for too long. Every yoke of failure at the edge of success in my life. Break by fire. Amen. So this is how we are going to pray. You know, say, every by the mercy of God, every yoke affecting my life in the name of Jesus. Break by fire. Break by fire. When I say ladder, you make it ladder and you are clapping. Are you ready now? Close your eyes. Say in the name of Jesus, by the mercy of God, every strange yoke in my life, in my family, affecting my progress, affecting our progress. In the name of Jesus, by the mercy of God, break by fire. Yeah, break by fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Come on, 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 come on. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, make it louder, make it louder, make it louder, make it louder, make it louder. Oh yes, 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 aha, I love the way you are praying. Oh yes, 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 oh yes. In the name of Jesus, 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 Amen. Yeah, things are happening already. Second prayer, and they are prophesied. You will cry by the mercy of God, every strange arrow fired into my life and my family causing discomfort in the name of Jesus backfire you command it to backfire are you ready now now you sing this song say I fire back back to sender oh my god say it now are you afraid to say it say I fire back to the sender say he that dig get a picture funny to it he that roll a stone it will go back to him so I fire back back to send the fire. I fire back back to send the your hands. I fire back back to we fire evil arrows. Send the oh yeah, Baba. I fire back back to send the fire back back to send. Say that mercy of God. I, I want the family that will receive after the other blind Batimo to save any by the mercy of God. Can you make it louder than that? By the mercy of God. By the mercy of God. Arrows of frustration. Fire into my life. 
into my family in the name of Jesus. Backfire, yeah, backfire, yeah. Back. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. This young in the name of Jesus, you will not be confused. You will not be confused. Mentally, you will not break down. The Lord will show you the way. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will show you the way. He will open new doors. In the name of Jesus. No confusion. Come on. 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 In Jesus. And we pray. Stretch your hands on this altar. By the mercy of God, he was wounded for your transgression, bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace has been upon him by strife, you have been made whole. In the name of God, receive your healing. Everyone, wherever you may be all over the world, I want all the youth to rise up and say, Big amen. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon everyone as we say one, one loud amen. By the mercy of God, beginning from now, your book of remembrance will be opened. In the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, doors of opportunities will be open. In the name of Jesus. Your oncoming breakthrough. Your oncoming breakthrough in that family will appear by mercy. In the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, strength and struggle will be terminated. In the name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, I command that long time delay to disappear. 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 In the name of Jesus. And as from today, by the mercy of God, everybody lift up your two hands. If your amen is the loudest, you will testify. You didn't say amen very well. You will testify in the name of Jesus. You will testify in the name of Jesus. You will testify in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So shall it be in Jesus. Then we pray. Hey. Lift up your two hands. Say, I receive the mercy of God. No, no, don't say it weakly. Say, I receive the mercy of God. Say it louder than everybody. Say, I receive the mercy of God. For me and my family. Say, mercy of God. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. Tear it louder, amen. 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 Somebody jump up and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Wow, thank you. We're going to come in on very quickly. John chapter 6, 48 to 58. Say, I am the bread of life. Your father, your fathers ate manna in the wilderness. And they are dead. This is the bread which came down from heaven. That one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove, um, strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? But Jesus said unto them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up the last day. For my flesh... For my flesh is meat, in, is food indeed, indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him. As the living Father has sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread which came down from heaven. Not as your Father ate in the manna wilderness, and they were all dead. He who eats of this bread will live forever. Let's look up quickly. The communion table. It's a common, it's, a, it's, it's very important. It is an obligation that we need to fulfill. But can I tell you this? There are many benefits that the communion will bring to us, which I, I'm going to enumerate now. But there are warnings. In 1 Corinthians 10 21. 1 Corinthians 21 warns you cannot drink the cup of the Lord. Can you put it on the screen so that people can see it? You cannot drink the cup of the Lord. 
please just hold it. Don't drink. We need to listen to this short message. And then the cup of the devils. You cannot be partakers of the lost table and the tables of the devils. Those of you still going to clubs. What are you going to take there? We are going there to take skunk, vape, Colorado, icing. You are drinking from the table of the devil. Those of you doing wrongs, doing show, licking and show and all these things, you, your, the mouth you are using to take communion, the lost table, you are using it to take do that of the devil. That is a warning. You can't drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the demon. Can you sit in the Bible? So you better be repenting now. But look at another one in 1 Corinthians 11, 27, and 27 to 29 uh, to 30. Therefore, whoever eats this bread, I'd like to show it. Whoever eats this bread, standing for the body of Christ, and drinks the cup, standing for the blood of Jesus, in an unworthy manner, will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. So it's better not to take it that to take it and be guilty of the body and the blood. Now, let every man examine himself. So let him eat of the bread and drink of the blood. For he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner, eats and drinks judgment to himself. Don't drink judgment. Don't eat judgment unto yourself. Not designing the Lord's table. For this reason, many are weak, sick among you, and many sleep. You take communion, you receive healing. But if you take it in an unworthy manner, your case will be compounded. So there is a place of penitence, repentance. You can't feed from the lost table and the table of the devil. You can't be, you can't go into Gansarism and be taking communion. When you take communion, number one, it transmits the very life of God unto you. The Zoe. John 10, 28 say, Jesus said, I give unto you eternal life and you will never, is there, never perish. Neither shall anyone pluck you out of my hand. That means you have the life of God. I have the life of God in me. I have the life of God in me. I have the spirit of the son of God. I have the life of God in me. That life is an eternal life. It's indestructible. No power can kill it. When you take communion, you receive healing. It transmits healing. In Isaiah 53 verse 5, it transmits creative abilities. You just, you just discover that you have ideas. Youth, ideas will just be popping up. Boom, boom, boom. First John 1, 1 to 4. It transmits grace for fruitfulness, productivity, preservation, and security. It transmits spiritual stability, alertness, wisdom, and power. Luke chapter 2. Jesus was with the disciples after his resurrection. They didn't know he was one. Immediately he broke the bread. They ate. The Bible says in Luke 24 that their eyes were open. It can open your spiritual eyes. Then you begin to manifest all the gifts in 1 Corinthians 12. Gift of faith, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, gift of prophecy, um, diverse kind of tongues, interpretation of tongues. Things will begin to happen. Are you expectant tonight? Rise up on your feet. And so Lord, I give you thanks for the body and the blood. As we eat in the name of Jesus, let it transmit healing. Say a big amen. amen. Let the mercy of God speak on our behalf. Amen. New strength. Amen. I want a louder amen. amen. New vigor. Amen. New vitality. Amen. New ideas. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the mercy of God, as we take this communion, we will escape all the snares of the fowlers. Every member of our family will do well. Amen. By the mercy of God, the Lord, will, the Lord will use this communion to boost our immunity. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we will do well. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is someone, as you take this communion, that confession is taken away. Amen. God has not given you the spirit of fear, 2 Timothy 1 7, but of power, love, and sound mind. There is someone that will take this communion and I want a very loud amen. That the Lord will give you a sound mind. Amen. By the mercy of God and through this communion, no more depression. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 
you will not be hooked to that depression drugs in the name of Jesus. As you take this communion on behalf of your children, all those challenges in their lives by the mercy of God will disappear in the name of Jesus. Now listen to this. As you take this communion by the mercy of God, unusual favor will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. All those strange marks will be cancelled in the name of Jesus. By this communion and the blood, Galatians 6, 17, from this time henceforth, let no man or woman trouble you, for you bear on your body the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the mark that they will see upon you, everybody I want to allow the man, shall be the mark of favor, mark of progress, mark of lifting, mark of breakthrough, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Eat unto life. Those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, now anointing for conception is flowing. As we eat, then drink unto life. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Eat and drink unto life. In the name of Jesus. Begin to give thanks unto the Lord. Begin to give thanks unto the Lord. Lift up your two hands unto the Lord. Those of you at home, change your communion material and take it now. I prophesy in closing in the name of Jesus. By, by this communion, by the mercy of God, in the name of Jesus, receive the grace of God for turn around. I'm going to pray three times and let your amen be the loudest. Receive the grace of God for turn around. Mercy of God for turn around. In the name of God the Father, the Son, in the name of Jesus. The mercy of God will speak for us. In Jesus' name I have declared. Amen. Have you been blessed tonight? Can we lift our two hands on the Lord and shout, Tiri loud mercy of God. Want to go?